Ladies and gentlemen, I have been staring at this screen. Excuse me, not this one. I've been staring at this one right here. For the past like five minutes, I'm just eating some snacks, drinking some juice, enjoying it. Just kind of looking at the my team ranks here. You know, we're 12th, 32nd, 4th, but we're first in defense pretty much all the way down the board. But it took me about five, 10 minutes to realize as I looked to my right at the AFC West standings. And I happened to look at them like, oh shit. The last game or two that we played, we went from being at the second place, technically the bottom, climbed our way up to the third place, climbed our way up to the second place. And then the last game of the season, we ended up taking the first seed in the playoffs. Look at that. Chiefs are second. So I looked over. I said, okay, let's check this out. We, we switched places with Kansas City. We went to the number one seed at the last second. All I can say is, damn, we did it. I'm just blown away, man. Let's get right into it. I'm going to comment a little bit. I just want to enjoy these playoffs, bro. Baltimore versus Denver. Let's fucking... Well, actually, hold on. Let's see who's still in. So, looks like Tennessee is out. The Colts are out. And the Steelers are out. That's pretty typical right there. Let's see here. Uh, my mind is going blank for a second. Falcons are out. Eagles are out. Los Angeles Rams are out. All right. Could be going against the Packers this season. Who knows, man? So let's get right into it. Let's upgrade our players here. Still don't know why that guy's only a 73, but... Whatevs. All right. Enjoy the game, guys. Let's get it. Today, from Empower Field at Mile High in Denver, it's the AFC Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. we'll see Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos versus Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. As far as home field advantages go in the playoffs, there are few places tougher on a visiting team than this one. Sold out in power field at Mile High in Denver. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Baltimore Ravens and the Denver Broncos.
Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week off. Get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. But it's going to be second down. met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, that kind of hit will certainly fire up your team, both on the field and on the sideline. Tackles for loss yardage, they're always welcome. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Draymond Jones drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. The defense is always talking about not letting Lamar Jackson get comfortable. A good job there on his opening drive of making him uncomfortable. And you're talking about doing it so early in the game because all week long, there's been anxiety on the defensive side of the ball. How do we keep this guy hemmed in? How do we tackle him to get it done that early? That's got to feel great for them. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, 9 on the return. And it'll be a short field for the Broncos as they take over first and 10. So now you've got their offense coming out for the first time with great initial field position. They'll be led out by a seven-time Pro Bowl quarterback in his 10th NFL season now. That's Russell Wilson. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first-round bye earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up so he could use the rest, and I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one because sometimes getting the rest is great, but sometimes you accumulate a little bit of rust as well. Maybe they come out flat, and they can't afford that in the postseason. From the 41, Wilson. This is the tight end fan. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. A second and 10, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And yeah, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. And he's got some space here. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice. Touchdown, Broncos! from 13 yards out. And the Broncos are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. McManus's point after is good, and it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And the mile high air in full effect as that's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They're forced to play catch up early in this division round game as they search for a seat in the AFC championship round. Option play and they'll hand to Dobbins. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Coming up on a second and six. 
An option handoff here to Dobbins. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. On third down, Jackson over the middle. He's got Watkins. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. Here's Sam Cook now as he'll kick it away for the second time. On the return, it's high. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Now he dumps this off over the middle. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Williams. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Now Wilson on first down. And a quick throw here that's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They'll run on first down. It's Williams. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 57 yards rushing for him now as he has been strong here in the first half of this divisional round matchup. He covered a lot of ground, great blocking, and now they can sniff that end zone. They certainly can, and because of that run, maybe you come back and fake it to him on this play and throw a little play action. Someone should break wide. And this is caught for the Bronco touchdown. Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Broncos push further out in front. Extra point from McManus is good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now here come the Ravens. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Throwing again on second. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Randy Gregory. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Well, you're already up a couple of scores here in the first half defensively, and Charles, they just seem to be playing really free on that side of the football. I love the observation because with that type of a lead, under pressure, they got him again. Bradley Chubb doing what he does best, getting that sack. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles, and that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball in his hands a lot quicker. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Williams. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Throwing is Wilson. 
Quick throw, but incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And he will have the Broncos first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Wilson's throw taken in by Sutton. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 27 yard line. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up the first down. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. To throw on second and 10. Wilson. And that would be off target and incomplete. It feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. They give it to Williams, running right. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, he can't hold them. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Play action. It's Wilson. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. The kick by McManus is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. From the gun, it's Jackson. That's into the hands of the tight end, Boyle. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Winner go home. That's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional round. Fielded just outside the goal line. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. He'll find Sutton on the right side complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. It's a big play there for the Broncos. This is what made the West Coast offense a staple around the NFL in the 80s and 90s. You don't have to push the ball deep downfield to come up with big plays. And there's an example of that right there. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 79 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. 
throwing now. Wilson on first down. He'll get that complete to Albert O. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. The pass there complete to Sutton. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. On third down. It's Williams. Yeah, Williams is going to be stopped short of the yellow line. He did not get there. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. They run. It's Williams. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Broncos continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. McManus's point after is good. And the lead is now 24. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a Denver touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession That's of the second half. Here. And Arizona beat now Green even Bay. Deeper. They need a big drive here just to, to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against Damn. them. They were down at the half. So Arizona from NFC West may end up going all the way to going to the Super Bowl. And then also, with the AFC side, you're going to be shocked, man. If you haven't noticed it already, I'll point it out when it pops up. But it may not be the team you were thinking it should be. Jackson has got his man. It's Andrews. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. There you go. Buffalo destroys Kansas City, bro. Guys moving a bit 35 to 17. So we will be playing the Buffalo Bills. And thank God, a new team. Come on, Lamar. You're watching the NFL on EA He's Sports. supposed to be this amazing quarterback, though. Jackson on first down. Slings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players just, nowadays. And that like, spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. There's no... Now Jackson. Oh, they set up the screen for Dobbins. Lamar is just getting the the out there. Back at the 37 yard line. Just absolutely so getting moita. Seven on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. That's a big minute and it's intercepted. <laughs> so with a fourth interception this team. year. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. the season line. and of the post. Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other side. Yeah, it's a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he can do there. Oh, yeah. And he winds Almost up giving it all away. 96 yards rushing for him now in the ball game as he is trying to will his guys to the championship round next weekend. Again, it's Williams. And he's going to be brought down just shy there of the is. five and the yards. six.
Here's Wilson. And it's intercepted wow. at the goal line. Of course. Picked off of course. the football. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Oh. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away. Oh. Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Now you want to throw now it's Jackson. That's taken in by Duvernay. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the launch it, baby. That'll leave them with a third and two you coming launch up. It. They got eight yards there. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They you face a third down launch now launch it, as they try to find a late score. From the gun, Jackson. There it is. It's intercepted. It is. It's intercepted. Picked up by Michael O.J. Moodya. OJ Moodya. OJ Moodya. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football. And look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. Wilson wants to throw it. How quickly to Judy. And he's taken down inside the 30. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line All right, before he's brought down. Here's Judy. <laughs> oh, grab that was. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. They probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. They'll run it with Williams. Oh. And he will get into the end zone. It's another I'll see that shit. This thing is ugly. Please let there be a replay on that. Damn, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to show you a replay right here. Check this out, man. It's rare you see this type of play, man, especially for me. Look at this. Bam. He gets hit. He moves. He sees the pressure coming, right? There it is. He's like, nope. I'm going to spin and walk my ass right back in. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. I had to show that. Now McManus for the extra point. Best and sickest running back move I've ever seen. And this one was over a while ago as they just Damn. add on to their big lead. Five plays there on that drive. And it was capped off by a Javante Williams touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Now the Broncos defense coming back onto the field. They've played excellent. Another stop here. That would just be the icing on the kick. You definitely want to finish things off the way it's gone throughout the day. And it's gone awfully well for them. They don't want to give up any type of a fluke, any type of a big play here. That'll leave a bad taste in their mouth as they go in and celebrate. Yeah, they want that good cake taste, right? No doubt about it. That's six-layer cake. <laughs> Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. And he takes this the up fact to the 40-yard line before being the whole entire team to 44 now the Ravens yards going to use one of their timeouts. As they'll stop that is, I don't think that's ever heard of. To go in the football game. Throwing on first down. It's Jackson. Oh, God. Dancing to his left. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So the now he wants to run. The now he wants to play like that. Huh? As the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. <laughs> and that one drops to the ground. Incomplete. <laughs> 9 for 15. 44 yards. 20 seconds, Two interceptions. Lamar. So after the at least get a touchdown. Now, I won't second and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. <clears throat> <clears throat> And too much shot, buddy. Be out of bounds, incomplete. 
This offense was on the move. Now two straight in completions have him looking at third and ten. <laughs> third time, Jackson gonna be intercepted. Oh my god. Oh my god, is he gonna make it? Please make it. Please make it. Please make it. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the block on defense is a touchdown. Baby. Fuck y'all. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not Bye, just bitch. by out-athleting them, which is often the case. <laughs> Being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them to the punch each and every time. <clears throat> this was a defense that was well prepared. Now McManus to tackle on good. the extra so point. He's got a bright future. I want his jersey, I want the new Russell Wilson jersey from the Broncos. And the Monte wins. Those guys are studs, man. <clears throat> I love football too much to just like one the team. Zone for the I follow touchdown. the Rams, I follow the Seahawks, the here's and I follow McManus certain players. To kick it away. So obviously Russell Wilson is going to follow him. So he goes to the Broncos, I'm going to get a Broncos jersey at the goal line. Sertain, I love Sertain's work. I'm probably going to get a Gardner sauce. <clears throat> sauce Gardner, baby. <laughs> And they're moving on to the conference championship. We're going to the conference champion finals, this? guys. A tremendous <coughs> feeling to get to the game <coughs> that can get you to the this? Super Bowl. A fantastic season. Unfortunately, for the other team, a tough, tough go. way for it to end. Sorry, Baltimore, but you just don't have enough. Guys. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gordon. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Uh, wait, did you have, the Broncos uh, are winners, as we say, so long. Did I have fun? No. <clears throat> uh. I love it. I love it. Javante Williams is moving up. Cortland Sutton's moving up. Patrick Sertain's moving up. I like to see that. Here we go. And it's good to actually play against the Bills for once this season. You know? <clears throat> Going against Josh Allen. Here we go. Playoff bracket. Here it is. It's going to be... God, I hope it's not the Cowboys. I'd rather have it Arizona Cardinals than Cowboys, but Cowboys, Cowboys versus the Cardinals, and then us versus the Bills. <clears throat> we'll see if the scores were. Steelers lost to the Kansas City Chiefs 38-17. to Okay, the Bills beat the Indianapolis Colts 28-21, to so that was kind of a close game. And then Baltimore whooped the Tennessee Titans ass 31 to 10. Then it moves up. Then we just blew them out. <clears throat> blew them out completely, 38 to 0. And then a mind blowing 35 to 17 Buffalo Bills destroy the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, and then over here on the NFC side, <clears throat> very close game for Los Angeles and Tampa Bay, uh, with obviously Tampa Bay beating the Rams by three. 35-32. Cowboys whoop the Eagles' ass 42-28. And it looks like the Cardinals have the same similar point system. They beat the Falcons 42-31. Bring it on over. Cowboys whoop Tampa Bay, which is shocking, uh, by four points, 31-27. And then Green Bay loses to the Arizona Cardinals by uh, three points, 27-24. So here we go. All right, guys. <clears throat> I end this video here, and I'm going to literally push record, go past the Pro Bowl, get to the... Uh, hold up, nope. <laughs> I'm going to be doing this game here after this. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. We got to be uh, number one in our division and number one in the AFC overall. We got Javante Williams up on the board with 306 attempts, 1,784 rushing yards. 23 touchdowns way to fucking go all right guys take care of yourselves see you in the next one peace